Hey guys. <clears throat> hey stars, wee hootie. Hey Galena. I mean, hey Melody. I was waiting on Galena too. Look what I got. I text, I mean, I, um, what do you call it? Not texted you. Messaged you, Melody. Did you get my messages? Hi, Karen. Kenny, I'm sure I'm missing some people popping in. And I got a glare on there. Maybe I'll go this way so there's less glare. There we go, less glare. Happy hump day, everyone. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> Hi, Pacola. How's everybody doing? Let's see. Here's that look pretty good color-wise and everything. I do have it propped up a little so there's not a glare. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure you're all right because, you know, you usually answer pretty, what you know, pretty quickly once the our days intersect, being such different time zones. <laughs> um, hi, Randy, Cheryl, Artsy Wannabe Girl, Diana, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Did I say hi, Pacola? Shane. Who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Melody sent us this one to give away. And this is the first Wednesday. Well, I, it might be the second. No, I think it's the first Wednesday. Yeah, because um, Halloween, the 31st, was last Wednesday. So this we're going to do our um, monthly book giveaway. I still have one of Kenny's books to give away, too. But I'm only, I only can do one at a time. And the other thing is, hey, Lori, um, the other thing we have to redo, we're going to have to re-give away the uh, Inktober because Marie, I contacted Marie, and she said she did not finish. Um, she didn't, she couldn't finish. Um, so we're going to redraw um, random.org for the Inktober giveaway. We're going to redo that. So we have two giveaways today. Whoop, whoop. Hey, Janet. Hi, how you doing? Happy hump day, everybody. Christine, who else am I missing? Uh, Lori loves Montana. I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Yeah, we're going to have a good Wednesday. Have a good Wednesday. You know what's good to me on Wednesday? Woo woo. Okay, the elections are over. We can stop talking about it for two years. <laughs> Who gets up this early? I don't know. How, how early is it for you, Lynette? Hi, Christine. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some people. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I know, right, guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so now let's talk uh, let's talk art for two years. How about that? Is, there, is everybody up for um, talking about art for two years? Hi faithfulness. <laughs> I'm a Patricia. Yeah. Oh, is it it's early for you? It's early. Yeah, it might be. It's probably early for everyone, pretty much. I mean it's 8 30 on the east here in the east, east, east coast time. Hi, Nick and Tina. How y'all doing? I'm sure I'm missing some people. Yeah, Hubster gets up. He gets up at uh, I'll I'll round it off to 4.30. He gets up at 4.30 to go walking slash jogging. <laughs> sometimes it's a walk, sometimes it's a jog. Hi, Marianne. Hey, wee hootie. I can say I'm awake. That doesn't mean I'm like, I'm not here sitting at the computer at 4.30. <laughs> oh, yes, I know, right, Lynette? Yeah. Um, the cat's been trying to get you up for two hours, Janet. Well, one of the th nice things about Hubster getting up at 4.30 is he feeds the cats. So I don't have to worry about them trying to get me up out of bed anyway at 4.30. <laughs> uh, but I get up, I get up not too long after that. Hi, Sandra. 
Hi, color and chat with Sammy. Hiya. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for trying to be here with your Wi-Fi, as we say in the South. It's our Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes, it's daylight savings already. It was Saturday. We fell back an hour, Gloria. Yeah, we fell back. <laughs> hey, kangaroo babe Oz. Good to see you. Robin loves reading. Christine Garner. I'm sure I'm missing some people. Cynthia E. Um, so yeah, everybody come on in, get a seat. We're going to do, um, we're going to color in fairy miracles, Clara Markova. And we're also good. Uh, Melody sent us two. So I got one. It's still all wrapped up in the plastic. Look at that guys. We're going to do a giveaway of this today. We're going to, we're going to give this away. It's the first Wednesday, the first Wednesday of every month. I try to give away a book. So this one we're going to give away today. And also we're going to redraw for those that were in Inktober. Um, the winner said she did not finish. So we'll redraw another name. Hopefully this person will have finished. Because <laughs> I'll have to keep doing this until somebody wins. Janet will say, just give it to me. <laughs> uh, oh, there's Terry. Good morning, Terry. I'm on the ball. Hang on. Oh, let me text Hubster back here. His his work hours are all different now. So, and there will be probably in the near future. They're gonna be all messed up. Um, okay, let's see. Here we go. Good morning, Terry. <laughs> um I'm not sure if you, Sandra, I'm not sure if you can get it on Etsy yet. <coughs> Probably eventually you'll be able to get it on Etsy. I don't know right now because it's brand new. Melody uh, sent it to me from uh, Czech Republic, I think. <laughs> I think it was from Czech Republic. Melody got it there and sent it, had it sent to me. Hi, Desiree. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Melody. So somebody's going to be somebody's going to be blessed with one of these today. Yes, we're going to give give one away today. When the, let, let's let the mods wake up and have their coffee before we start hurting cats. <laughs> Hi, Stacy, resident lurker. Welcome. I know Melody does rock the color books. Kenny's probably right behind her. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for supporting the channel and giving us books for giveaways. Hi, Scoops. Yeah, I know, right, Sammy? Hi, Kendra. Thank you for making these videos. I look forward to them. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. You have two ladies named Patricia. Oh, okay. There's Patricia Lyons, who must be related to Eileen, the enabler elf. Eileen Lyons. <laughs> I mean, I doubt that you are, but yeah, y'all have the same last name. Um, so let's see. Well, thanks, Gloria. Hi, Kat. I'm, I know it's just, and if you're watching the recording, I do spend 20 minutes or so saying good morning to everybody. Um and you just have to fast forward past that because I don't think that's going to change. We're, we like to get a little good morning chit chat in and uh, say hi to everybody uh, before we get started on any project. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it's hump day. So, yeah, hope everybody's having a good day. Like I said, one good thing we can all <clears throat> be thankful for. The elections are over for two years. So let's just talk art for two years. <laughs> you almost had two more of these. Oh, my gosh, Kenny, you, you were going to send me some too? Oh, my gosh. I still have the um, other Morphia book of yours to give away, Kenny. We just haven't had a chance to give that one away yet. So, um, yeah, I got it over in the pile. We'll be giving that away. You know, I'll do it a random, a random one. But uh, every, the first Wednesday of every month, I like to do a book giveaway. And, you know, thankfully you girls send books for us to do giveaways. Hi, May. 
I know, right, Terry? Oh, <clears throat> yeah. So let's let's uh, do art for two two years. How about that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hump day. It's my Monday. Got to work. Okay, Michelle. Denise does too. Uh, Wednesday is Denise's Monday. She has Mondays and Tuesdays off. She's in real estate. So um, today's her Monday as well. <laughs> Hi, Desiree. So again, guys, uh, let me make sure my phone sound is down. After I do the soundboard for Miss Terry, Terry Trouble, our cougar. I got to turn down the volume. Hi, Purdy Cat. How you doing, hon? <laughs> Miss Purdy Cat. <laughs> I love some of the names. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 do it. We'll do it soon. Yeah, we did give one away. Ken, uh, Kenny had sent two extras, so we already gave away one. So we'll uh, we'll we have another one still. And I am working on my uh, some little prints. I'm making a little mini zine. I might make some stickers for those that support the channel, either with Super Chat or PayPal tip jar. So I'm getting all that to, ready to go out this weekend. So if you have tip jarred me or Super Chatted me in the last two weeks, um, those, will all, those will all get gone out this weekend. <clears throat> it wakes you up, Lynn. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you're in, uh, Kelly Marie is in South Australia. Welcome, welcome all the Oz girls, Carrie Ann. Um, so yeah, hi, Barbara. Barbara, say hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Fibs. And for those of y'all don't know what Fibs are, they're friends in the box. Fibs are uh, fibs are friends in the box. Yeah, plural, because there's there's lots of us. Hi, Teresa. How you doing? <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. I'm just kind of reading chat here. You're you're the insomnia now. Insomnia, insomnia now. Oh, I can't say it. The ones who can't sleep. <laughs> uh, hi, Rosalind. Another uh, Rosalind, are you are you in Oz too? Janet, I like the way I liked your last drawing. I, I had to leave, well, probably about 30 minutes before you were done on that last drawing. Um, if y'all don't know, Janet's been trying to do some basic drawing and shading for people wanting to learn how to draw and shade. Uh, so Janet's been throwing shade. <laughs> on her stream. Hi, Joycey Noodle. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's going to do today. Hi, Suze. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I am new here. Oh, well, thanks, Melanie. Melanie Bees from Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome. If anytime you come up the highway, you pass right by my house in, in uh, the um, ATL area. <laughs> uh, Queen Sassy. That sounds like an Oz name, too. Hi, Julie Topaz. <laughs> Jan's a shady character. Wah, wah. <laughs> hey, ZZ. Um, you'll have to speak English. Are you? It looks like you're from Brazil. You'll have to speak English, ZZ. Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. Thank you for your wonderful videos and your time. They, oh, well, thanks for watching, Gabriella. Is it Gabriella? It sounds like it's Gabriella. We have to put the little, we have to accent it, you know, Gabriella. Hi, Gloria. Costa Rica, Gloria. Welcome. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Hi, Connie. Hey, Painty Girl. Got my mask yesterday. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad I got there, Joan. Yeah, sorry, the address thing. You know, it took another week, but yeah, you got it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your loss, Joan. 
Oh, well, I'm glad it hit you, it hit the hit the mail hit you at a good a time where you needed it. And we're sorry for your loss. Hi, Susan. Hiya. <laughs> Susan is Sammy's mom. And there's Sammy goes, hi, mom. Hiya, mom. Mom. It's mom in the UK. <laughs> hi, Michelle. Hi, Jerry. Yeah, y'all, y'all give a Joan a hug, guys. Give Joan a hug. Hi, great. Hi, hi, Jen. Reading with pugs. I saw. I got. The, I think it was yesterday. I saw you had a new video up. I got to go watch that. I try to. I ring everybody's bell, so I keep. I keep them in my list until I go to them. And once I watch the video, then I, um, you know, remove the notification off my bell list. So that way I can keep up. The bell, guys, if you don't ring, ring people's bells. I'm telling you, ring people's bells. Oh, well, oh, well, I'm thank, uh, good for you for voting uh, and waiting in line. Yeah, it was very busy, uh, long lines. And uh, so one of the things we're talking about today is how thankful on hump day, Wednesday, that we don't have to talk politics for two more years. <laughs> we can talk art for two years now, people. <laughs> uh, not that we really talk politics here, but I'm just saying now we can uh, we can all chill in, in art. Let's all chill in art. Hi, Penny. Kimberly. Yeah, <laughs> you can ring my bell. Yeah, Terry. Don't make me sing, girl. Don't make me sing. Hi, Riri. <laughs> uh, so, hi, everybody, in case I missed anybody. So, if y'all just coming in, um, I'm not seeing I, some of my, I don't know why I don't have all my people aren't showing up on my numbers. I know we have more people than that. Maybe something's just not clicking in with how many people are here. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm missing saying hi to some people. So anyway, uh, if you weren't here earlier, hi, Audrey. Bonjour. Bonjour, Audrey. Bonjour, Audrey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, I know, Terry. So I don't know what's with the uh, count there. Yeah, there's more than 30 people here. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. Yeah, I don't know why it says that. There's more than that here. So I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe, a, a, you know, YouTube's always tweaking things. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, as long as I can see you in chat, that's all that matters. So make sure you like the video, you know, click the like button and ring the bell. And that's true of all your, uh, everybody you watch. Ring their bell so that you get notifications. That, that's how I really keep up with everybody. Your refreshers. Yeah, I don't know, Lynn. Well, I'm not worried about it. I see you guys. Chat's rolling. You guys are here. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have more we have more thumbs up than we do have. <laughs> it shows people here. We got 43 thumbs up and it shows 31 people here. So something's wrong with the uh tally, the you know, the numbering there. Yeah. <laughs> there's what there's way more than that. <laughs> so thanks everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh but yeah, do like it and give it a thumbs up. Uh use both thumbs. Yeah, <laughs> use both thumbs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pacola. I guess so, because there's more thumbs up than there are people here. Mine is saying top chat. Yeah, so yeah, it's not. Uh, maybe it's just showing chatters. You think? Oh, uh, I don't know. It usually Rosalind. It usually shows everybody that's here. So I don't know. Maybe to, maybe they changed it to just show chatter. So if you're here and you're lurking, just you know, just say hi and go back to lurking. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do today, in case you missed it earlier, because I know that it's not changing. The number is not changing, so it's like stuck on 31. Uh, so anyway, M Miss Melody sent us the new Clara Markova book, Fairy Miracles. Sent two copies 
I already opened one and looked at it. I already picked a page. Sammy got hers too. I haven't watched her video, but I saw that she she colored a page out of it. And then um, so we have an extra one. It's still wrapped in its it's still wrapped in its plastic. We're gonna do a giveaway today. So we're gonna give away this copy. Okay, and before we get started on coloring, though, I want to go over here to our Inktober giveaway. Remember I said that to win the drawing for Inktober, which I showed last week, the little book that I thought would be good for pen and ink, and um, this pack of uh, um, Sakura Pigma pens. Here's what they look like there. Um, to be in the drawing, you had to have finished Inktober. Well, we don't, you know, I did a random drawing and the person that I picked, a random that was randomly picked, I did get a hold of her and she said she did not finish. So we're going to do another drawing and we'll continue to do the drawing until one of you 58 people, <laughs> until one of you 58 people that are numbered here wins, <laughs> has to have finished has to have finished your Inktober. <laughs> so we're, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Let's do a drawing real quick. And uh, so number 29 was Marie and she said she could, she her health and she could not finish it. So if 29 comes up, I'll just draw another number. But otherwise I'm going to put between one and 58 in random.org. So let's go ahead and see who will win uh, uh, maybe this time. Random.org. <clears throat> let me turn down the um, let me turn down the light so it shows up. Okay, so we're going to put in between one and fifty-eight. One and fifty-eight. Okay, so let's see. Y'all ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, so let's generate eleven. 11. So 11 happens to be Dusty Ward. Now, I don't know if Dusty Ward is here. This is try number two. Dusty Ward. Try number... <laughs> Second try. Okay. So I don't know. Is Dusty Ward here? <clears throat> I'll have to try to, I don't have her email or address or anything. So I'll have to see if she is on Instagram or if she shows up here, guys, if y'all see Dusty Ward show up, as long as she finished, as long as she finished her Inktober, she will win this. So we will wait and see. And if she doesn't, if she didn't finish, we'll do another drawing. We might be doing this all, all year long. Yeah, I haven't seen her either. So I'll give it a, you know, I'll give it a few days and see if we can find her or if anybody sees her anywhere. So yeah. <laughs> so Dusty Ward. Let me put this over here in my pile. And um, yeah, so she won the Inktober, Inktober giveaway for yeah. So we'll see if she shows up. I haven't seen her since last, you know, a couple weeks, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I have yeah, I have to be able to see, or you have to email me if I tell you I want to see picture number 11 or picture number eight or whatever from the Inktober. You have to you have to prove you did it. Not that I don't trust you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do a giveaway of um, the second copy that Melody sent us after a while. In the meantime, I am going to do a flip of the book. We'll do a flip of the book and color in the book. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> so, yeah. It, it's the first. See, look, my number. The, see, the numbers are stuck or something. <laughs> we have 61 likes and 34 people. <laughs> They're slow rolling in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to do a flip of the Fairy Miracles by Clara Markova. And so it comes with a little letter. It comes with a little, a little sign sticker thing. And it comes with a bookmark, which I'll show you that when I get to it, because that's the page we're going to color right there. When we get to it, definitely stuck on the clicker, right? <laughs> right, Terry? All right. So this is what Clara Markova says. 
and she's out of the Czech Republic. And um, Melody spent a little bit on shipping to get these here. Just saying, guys. So y'all make sure and thank Miss Melody who, when you win one. <laughs> Welcome to my magical world full of miracles, full of miracles. In your hands, now you are holding a piece of my heart, and I am honored to guide you through my world full of pixies, fairies, little flower dragons, and kind animals. Each of my books was made with love from the very beginning of the first sketch to the moment when you open it and imprint a colorful life into all the delightful pictures. Every page is full of stories filled with love, and I'm very happy to share this piece of my world with you. With love, Clara. And that uh, shows that she's, you know, where she is. Her website is right there, www.clara.markova.com. And I'm sure she'll, they'll probably end up if, yes, Melody's there. Yes. Um, if, um, I mean, they're not, I don't know if they're on Etsy yet, but I'm sure they will be on Etsy eventually. If y'all know where, uh, other than getting in, in contact with Clara Markova herself, if you know other places it's sold now, uh, like if there an Etsy seller or something, y'all let the girls know. Okay. I'm going to stick this in the very back here. Okay. So let's do a flip, shall we? Let's do a flip. I might have to adjust the lighting again. Oh, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do a flip. I'm, I, I'm sure Sammy and some others have done a flip as well. Um, Claire Markova has beautiful books. They're all hardback. They're very high quality. The paper is really thick. I wouldn't try to use uh, Copics on it, but other than, you know, something like uh, alcohol markers, they're on her Etsy page. Okay, Rosal, get, what, what, get down from there. What are you doing trying to climb the window? Get down. Silly boy. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so they're on her Etsy. Thank you, Rosalyn. So go to her. She has an Etsy. So go and look for them there. Thank you, guys. I don't think you can put a direct link. Even the mods, I don't think, can link Etsy. So you'll just go look up. Just go look up Clara Markova. You'll find it. <clears throat> Isn't it just so cute? All her books are so cute. They are so cute. And this one also has doors in it, like one of her others. Um, I colored one or two uh, pages in her other book that has doors. Look, I'll show you what I'm talking about. They have little doors you can cut out, these little doors. And then you uh, do a little slice. Not I'll When I get to it, I'll show you. But you, there's a little dotted line where you slice it and then insert the little tab so that you can put these little doors on and it makes a flap. Um, I'm not sure which, if I can remember what book it was in, I'd show you. Um, let's see. It might be this one. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. I think it's this one. <clears throat> which tr this translates, uh, what does this translate to? I forget what this one translates as, but let me show you the page that I do, I've done with the door. I've done a few pages in this book here. So this double page spread, see how it has doors right here? So these doors are in the back of the book and you cut them out and then you just insert the little tabs into the book right there. So this is one of Clara's other books. So, yeah, <clears throat> so this one also has a couple of doors to cut out and put in. I know I love the doors, Jerry. Now, it's not good. I don't know that it'll ever be on Amazon. I don't know if her books are on Amazon. But on Etsy. Here's one. See those little dotted lines right there? So you just slice it right there with an X-Acto knife. Make sure you put something behind it so you can see there's nothing to color right there. 
And uh, then you just put the, you cut out the little door. Cut out the little door and put that in over this door. So it opens up. So you have an open, you know, you can, and I love this double page spread. <clears throat> So it's so cute. Look at this little baby dragon eating some blueberries. How stinking cute is that? Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at all the little ladybugs. You have to get that cute voice, you know. You got to go, oh, <laughs> it's so cute. You just have to. Look at her holding the little baby dragon. Look at her little socks and her little feet and her little toes there. So cute. Yeah, if y'all know places that it's sold, just tell everybody where to go. Tell everybody where to go. I mean, you can go, you know, Google her, go to her website, go to her Etsy. I know it's a brand, you know, brand new book within the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, this she's holding. She's a mermaid here. Look, it's a mermaid, and she's holding the seahorse. Little pearls on a string. It's just so much little detail. She always has a lot of perfume bottles, jewelry. You know that one's so cute too. I don't know. I might want to do this one. Let's put a tab on. Let's put a post-it note. Although I already have one picked, but we'll see. <laughs> Hi, Desiree. Magical Delights was the other one. Yeah. <clears throat> Look how cute. There's another mermaid. She's reading to the little seahorses. And there's a jellyfish. Swan. Hydrangea. Oh, look, a little elf there. Little elf riding with a feather pen. Hydrangeas. I love me some hydrangeas. Y'all know. Aren't there three? Aren't there three what, Connie? Aren't there three of, of her books? Um, I think I think there's four actually. Maybe there's three. <clears throat> Maybe this is the third one. Is this a, some Melody or somebody will know? Is this a third one or the fourth one? It's her, Melody says her third. Okay, so this is her third one. Yeah, I've got the other two. I just pulled the one that had her. I think I have all three. I'm pretty sure I do. I'll show you some of the pictures I colored in the other one. Yeah, her style is very distinct. You can you can tell it's her, right? She has a page on Amazon, but her new book's not on there yet. Oh, okay. Thanks, Lynette. It is on Etsy. Okay. All the strawberries, the little tassels. And see, she leaves you places over here to write, like, what you used or the date you colored, sign your name and all that. This one's cute with all the mushrooms. I love this one, too. This would take a while, though. I don't think we could finish this one in a day. <laughs> I don't remember which one Sammy was coloring. Have I got to the one you've colored yet, Sammy? I know it's a sweet little girl, but I forget which, what she had or which page it was. Um, I think I might recognize it if I come to it, if I haven't already passed it by. <clears throat> and when there's a double page spread, then the back side is like this, like so that you can do a double, double page spread, see, without it. Because, you know, if you want to do markers, you could, but you're going to ruin this side. And I don't think anybody's oh, I'm sitting on my foot. I don't think anybody's going to want to do that. Hi, Joey. Hi, Beth. Sharon. Linda R. I know I'm missing some people, guys. Don't forget, if you talk to me, to put it in caps. Um, I'm trying to remember which one you did, Sammy, if I get to it. I'm well, thank you. You get the first two books on Amazon for 28 Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Somebody said you can get the first two books on Amazon for $28. 
I don't know what the shipping is, but yeah. Oh, I just passed it. Okay. Was it this one? No, was it was it this one? I thought it was a bigger face. I thought it was a bigger face. I don't know. I don't know. Big puffy dresses. Okay. This one? This, no, it wasn't the mushrooms. Okay. I'm not sure, Sammy. I don't have it fresh in my mind. This one, this one, wasn't it this one? Fairy with flowers and a key. Okay. Is this it? I think. So this might be the one Sammy colored or is in progress. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So Sammy color, um, color and chat with Sammy is working on this one. I don't think she finished it. Okay. Yeah. It's so pretty. I love all the little teeny fairies. Look there, there, there. You picked a good one, Sammy. I have to go back and watch it. I just saw that you were working on it. Okay. Let's keep going. Here's our little elf. Some little houses, little tree houses. Oh, just makes you want to go. Oh, all right. Get down from there, big guy. You don't need to try to climb the window. <clears throat> yes, I see you. He wants to go outside. He's going to have to wait. I've been, if y'all haven't seen my Twitter, I've been trying to um, harness train the cats. He's doing well. But it's hard for me to put the harness on with that. Hubster will hold him and I'll slip the harness over his head and shoulders. It's hard for me to do it by myself because he still doesn't understand because he loves to go outside. He loves to go outside, but he doesn't have the correlation between you got to put on the harness if you want to go outside. But uh, once he has it on, he's fine. Yeah, once he has it on, he loves it out there. The girl, not so much. She's not used to the harness yet. So she just goes outside and sits. She doesn't try to chase the sticks or, you know, do anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, look, it's like a little apothecary. See, look at the door right here. Oh, look at the little rug. Or is it a candy? It might be a candy shop. Yeah, it looks like a candy shop. Yeah, because there's a cupcake and little candy. So, little candy shop. Okay, hey, look, making apple cider. <laughs> right out of the apple. Oh, my gosh, this is so cute. Look at the strawberries. This is a good one. I like this. I'm not going to probably do this one today, but I do. This is one. This is getting a, it's getting a tab. Yeah. And this is an interior. Little little bedroom up there in a little nook. Little bee. Looks like um, got a big bite out of a lollipop there. She's down here stirring something on the stove. Then look how the little stove pipe goes out, out the tree. So cute. Little bunt cake. Okay, then we have two more little elves. Here looks like maybe a bookshop. Or just no gift wrap. It's a gift wrap. Look, the the ribbon is on the spool. And they just pull the ribbon off the spool for gift wrap. Isn't that cute? He's got a stack of books wanting wrapped. I like this one too. I'm going to tag this one. But this is the one that we get to right here. That's the one I want to color today. Unless I change my mind. Hi, Chantel, Gloria, anybody else I missed. Don't forget, guys, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps. She's building, oh, she's, look, she's got a little carving tool like we used, like we used to do our rubber stamp carving. Yes. Those tools, somebody, I saw somebody comment or something asking if you can carve wood. You can carve basswood, softwood with that uh, speed ball, but there's other nibs, other made for wood ones. I don't know. I haven't tried to carve wood. I did. I think I did try to ca carve a basswood plaque years ago with the speedball tool. 
but there's more, um, there's other, especially if it's hardwood, you got, you have, I have them somewhere around here. I have some that are made for that, but I just don't carve wood. Makes me want to get one of our books out today. I just finished a page in the Art of Celtic. Awesome, Connie. Yeah, I know. Here she is knitting. She has a little baby here. She's got a dress out on the line. They're like, I don't know, it just reminds you when you were a little girl. I mean, I wasn't very frilly, but you still, you remember these kind of, you know, when you were little. Then here's a bird. Like this would be the actual size of a real bird. And then here's the little, you know, town here. Little mushrooms, little ladder. I don't know. I just think it's so sweet and so cute. It's like just, you know, it's a whole little fairy tale world. Okay, so is this the one? Yeah, so this is the one I want to color. Now, not both. I hope you'll probably do both. But I was thinking about doing one of these today. Well, I don't know if I want to do a bat. I did a bat in the other one. Um, yeah, maybe I won't do this. This is though now I look at it, it looks really complicated for uh for a three hour video. I don't think I can finish that in three hours, so we might go back. But I do want to put a tab on it. But I'm think I'm gonna pick another page. Okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that a little hedgehog. A little hedgy. Didi, glad to catch you live again at last. Well, thank you, Miro. Welcome back. Miro, did you, Miro, did you get your art disc? You might have told me that you got it, and I just don't remember seeing it. Hopefully, you got your, your art disc in Poland. <laughs> did you get your art disc? Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm sitting on my foot. <laughs> Look at the, um, I don't know if those are, um, what's a Hawaiian flower? I don't know if that's that one or not. Okay, you got it. Okay, you might have told me, Miro, and I just, you know, forgot. Hi, Kathy Berg. Yeah, a little, two or three hours, Connie. Yeah, I agree. So I might pick one of those other ones that I um, posted. Oh, but this is so cute. Look, it's a bookshelf and books. Oh, I might want to do this one. I don't think I'll fit. I could finish it, but I am liking this one with the books. Y'all know I love me some books. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Thank you, Desiree. Hibiscus. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hibiscus. Look how pretty. This would be a good one. It's big enough where you could probably do those hibiscus with pan pastels. And she's holding a tassel. Has a little key on her wrist, a little necklace. Just so, look at that little look on her face. Isn't it so sweet? They're your favorite flower. Well, then that's how you know it, right? Okay, so I'm kind of leaning toward this little guy. I might do that. Here's a little, uh, looks like he's trying to, is, that a, is he baking something or is that like a refrigerator? I guess that's a stove, but there's no stove pipe, so I'm not sure. I think, aren't they just so cute, guys? This one too, look, look at all the presents all over. This would be a good Christmas one. I need to, it has a little snowman. Let me write a note. This one. Oh, I'm sitting on my foot. Hang on. <clears throat> Christmas. So I have, I have, now that it gives me an extra page to do during December, because I have the book that Jen sent me. I have the um, St. Nicholas book. It does, yeah, it kind of looked like an oven, Terry, but there was no stovepipe. Where's where's the, uh, where's the, you know, it just ends. Usually their stovepipes go out the tree. So I don't know. Maybe it's a terrarium. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I will zoom in when I'm coloring newbie. Yeah, I just want a big overview here so everybody can see it. Maybe a kiln. Oh, it could be a kiln, Terry. 
Could it be a kiln? What's throwing me off is that he's holding up something with the fork in it. See, he's, he's got something with a fork. He or she has got something with a fork. So that's why I'm thinking it looks like some kind of a seed pod or something or an onion maybe. It looks like it's layers of onion opening up. What's, what's the story here, people? What do you all think the story is? It's a patio fireplace. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, Connie, it could be. Uh, what are those called? There's a Spanish name for those. Those uh, patios. Or CB in San Antonio. <laughs> she would know. What are those? Uh, what are those called? Kathy Burke says it's a roaster. You see the vents in the pipe. Yeah, that's true. But that just means it's coming into the house. I would think it'd have to be outside. Yeah, ch chimney, chimney. In the, how do you say it? Chimney? No, it's not chimney. How do you say it? Somebody somebody put it in phonetics. <laughs> chimenea? Chimenea? Is that how you say it? That's maybe what it is. <clears throat> it would have to be outside because these are vents that would smoke up the house. Roasting chestnuts? I don't know. Is that a chestnut? Could be. I was thinking it was an onion. <laughs> Chim... Chimenea, chimenea. Okay, yeah, chimenea. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they're outside. Look, having tea on a little rug. Yeah, that's outside. So it has to be a chimenea. Although I don't know what the, you know in uh, in Czech Republic. I don't know. Do they have those? I don't know, guys. A patio fireplace with garlic cooking in it is what Eileen says. Okay, thanks, Eileen. Eileen, knowing Eileen, she's probably personally talked to Clara. <laughs> knowing Eileen. Uh, oh, you have one? You have one, Karen? And still can't pronounce it. <laughs> They're roasting garlic. Now, that makes sense. Roasting garlic, Terry said. Yeah. Yeah, Terry. I think you're on to something. Let's write that down. Roasting garlic in chimenea. I think I spelled that wrong. But I sounded it out. Because of the leaves, Eileen gave you the idea. <laughs> oh, and then there's a big honey pot there with bees. See, I just want to look at every little detail and talk about it, but then we won't get any coloring done. Hi, Faithful Mess. So, yeah, um, and by the way, guys, our numbers are, even though they've creeped up from 31 to 53, we have 76 thumbs up. So the numbers are not right on the amount of people here. So uh, I will have to, when I do the giveaway, I'll have to do like between one and say 150 or something like that. I'll give a lot, you know, give it extra numbers because we usually have at least 150, to, between 150 and 200 people at, at least here. And so, um you have to speak English, uh, Strock, Strock. Yeah, you have to speak English. Um, hi, hi, Cat. Yeah, I said hi to Catherine. I love this book. Hoping to be on Amazon at some point. Probably will be, but right now I'm, you, they're saying you can get it at her Etsy shop, Catherine. But I don't know about the shipping. I'm sure because I saw Miss Melody paid a little bit of money for the shipping for two books here, one for us to give away. Okay, so here's Christmas cookies and bells, things hanging, and they're like um, in their little, their little uh, muff warmer, you know, hand warm, uh, hand warmers. Cookies, cupcakes. Oh, I just, I just love every page. You just, this is one of those books that you have a kid, a, a daughter. Well, it could be a son too, but you know, if you have a, you want to do a fairy tale book. If you want to complete a fairy tale book for your grandkids or something, start now. Start now because, you know, it'll probably take you that long um, by the time the grandkids can get, you know, <laughs> it's going to take you a while to do it. But these are the kind of books that you do like for keepsakes, right? This is the kind that you want to do a forever book. 
another double page spread. Look at that owl, the little mouse singing Christmas carols. I'm gathering, I'm guessing. Cookies and all kinds of little treats. And then here's the house with the icicle looking in. Christmas tree, fireplace. So sweet. Oh, Dusty. Dusty girl. Girl. Girl, did you finish your Inktober? Dusty, did you finish your Inktober? I'm waiting to see. You have Amazon Prime. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that'll be cheaper shipping than, yeah. <clears throat> if you just can wait till it's available. You did not finish. Okay, so Dusty, let me finish this and we'll do another, we'll draw again. Okay, we'll draw another. Okay, another name. So here's the little door. So I know people go, oh my gosh, you cut. Yes, I cut it out because you got to, people. You have to cut out the little door. I want to show y'all what it looks like when we cut it out. I know some people would never do this, but I did it in my other one, and I'm going to do it in this one. <laughs> so let's cut out the little door. So we'll do another drawing for an Inktober person uh, to win the drawing. Well, thanks for trying anyway, Dusty. Thanks for trying. <laughs> No grandkids yet. Hopefully soon I've started the Baker's. Yeah, the Baker's Dozen. That's the one that I want to do a little bit of work in, uh, Karen, at Christmas in December. Hi, Gail. So let's cut the little door out here. And it's toward the front, this one is. I think I got the right page. It's the page that says it looks like the one with the cake. So let's go back. Let's go back to the front here. She has a little thumbnail to go. Yeah, so I think this is it right here. So what I'll do is I will cut right here. Um, I don't have a... My little, I have my big cutting mat here. Let me see if I can do this carefully without cutting. All right, so I'm going to try to just, I'm holding the page up, so I'm going to try to cut right here. Let's see if that's big enough. So then... She says to glue it. I just tape it. <clears throat> I'm not going to tape it now because it's easier to, to do it without. Um, now, this one, see, they have something on the back. The other two, they didn't have anything on the back. And I had to draw my own wood grain on the back. You don't run any coloring pages. Uh, yeah. So you just put a piece of tape there. Yeah. So um, how cute, right? All right, so before I start coloring, let's do a couple things here. I want to show the pages I colored in this one. I think I have the other one. Yeah, I have all three of them. Nightfall, that's the other one. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's no, that's Maria Troll. Hang on, I think these are the, these might be the only two. I have Hannah. I have two Marie Troll. Five Hannahs. And I guess I just have these two Clara ones. So I'll show you what I got in the Clara one here. She probably saw what you did and liked it. <laughs> so let me, sh I'll show you real quick what I've done in this one. Then we'll do another drawing for the Inktober. Tenderful Enchantments, that's what this one is called. Yeah, let me write that down. Because I don't know, I never know the uh, names of them. <clears throat> is that what this one is? Am I right? Tenderful Enchantments? Oh, oh, that, oh, that's right. It does, uh, there is another one. It has a teal spine. So this one's not Tenderful Enchantments. Wait a minute. This one... This one's Magical Delights. Okay, hang on. I do have the other one. I have to look for it. It's just not next to this one. 
Okay, so this one is Magical Delights. All right, hang on, guys. I'll get it straightened out. I do have the other one. I do have Tenderful Enchantments. Hang on. Okay, wait. It's just not on the same shelf. Where did I put it? I must have pulled it out to color something in it and did not put it back with the other ones, which I'm usually very good about putting them back. Um, is it down here? Am I working in something? Oh, here it is. I found it. I had it pulled because I was working in something. Okay, this one's tender. And said, this one's in English. Okay. Got it. So Tenderful Enchantments. Let's just look at the pages we've colored, and then we'll start coloring, guys. Uh, I am going to do a drawing for the... Well, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's see if the person, if somebody's here that could win, that finished Inktober. Okay, wait. Where are I doing? Oh, okay. All right. Let's go back to this. Okay. Let's go back to our Inktober. <laughs> go on a little rabbit trail. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, hello. Sammy goes, look at the bookmark. Yeah, it's sitting right here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I don't need this because that one's in English. So, yeah, there's the three. <laughs> right there in the bookmark. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hi, Rainbow Colors. Happy to get you on. Thanks for being here. Uh, you, you only missed one, Dusty? Can you show me that you only missed one? Can you, you know, where can I see your stuff, Dusty? If you only missed one, I think I'd let that slide. Did you only, where, where, where did you post? Did you post on Twitter, Instagram? Where can I see your stuff? Because if you only missed one, I'm going to let you win. <clears throat> Hi, designed by Jean. Those coloring books are awesome. I'm getting new, I'm getting ready and let's see. Okay, Life Mix. Thank you for being here. Lurk away. Yeah, I I've read and reread the list over and over a few days in a row. Um. I tried to post on Instagram. Well, let me go on Instagram. Did you did you not post them all? How many did you post on Instagram? Let me go over there and look. Are you Dusty over there? I'm not sure your name. Hang on. Over the, on a, on IG. What, what's your name, Dusty, on Instagram? <clears throat> Thanks, Terry, for the getting rid of the trolls. Um, there's a whole bunch of, bunch of Dusties. I need more information. I need more. I need more, more information. Just do or 45 or you don't know that's not you. And I know you're not that guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. Thank you. Let me go over here and look. Dusty at underscore. Oh, no, art, not at. Hang on, guys. What's well, not coming up? Um, what am I doing wrong? Dusty underscore arts. It's not coming up as that. Well, what am I doing wrong? I'm not seeing your Instagram come up under that name, Dusty. I'm sorry. It's not coming up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, you That's not you. You have zero posts. That can't be you. <laughs> Dusty at Art Supplies. There's zero posts. I don't even follow you because there's no post. So that can't be you. 
Okay. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Dusty, I'll hold off on doing another drawing. If you can email me, email me your Instagram name and, or your or someplace I can see your work. Okay, if you only missed one, then I'll, I'll go ahead and, um, and award you the drawing, okay? Yeah, so, yeah. Can you put my email in there, Terry, please? I'll hold off. I'll hold off till, um, you know, you can show me your Instagram, okay? Yeah, I saw that, Kim. Uh, I would not have scratched her off the list if she finished. So, yeah. Thank you. There, Dusty, grab my email there, okay? Get with me before my next stream and, um, and you know, let me know. Okay. So, let's go on to the coloring here so tenderful enchantments is um i think this was the first one um what's it called again magical delights is the second one so let's you know look at some of the pages i colored in these yeah just get rid of the trolls no biggie guys they'll they'll get rid of the trolls so this is the page i colored in the let's go ahead and zoom in on the intro page Let's lighten it up just a little. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Faithful, for telling. Yeah. I have to know that you did the work because that's only fair to everybody. No, no offense. Don't take offense that I want I want to see some your work. <clears throat> so we finished this one. Can y'all see okay? I'll probably zoom in some more once I um, once we start coloring. This one I add stickles to, so you can see a lot of glitter. See the glitter there on the handle? Did a nice little shadow here. And then there's some glitter up in there. Hi, Muffy. Um, pencils. A little creative, yeah. Pencils. Probably all Prisma. Knowing me, it's probably Prisma color. There's the uh, where I added glitter on there. So that one. Let's see what else have I done in this book. Let me just do a flip this way. See, here's where I've cut the doors out. So. Okay, we did the we did the fruit bat. We did this one, and this one has a black acrylic paint. The background is black acrylic paint, uh, so you can do the you can do that soft halo effect. <clears throat> you can't do that on top of pencil. Um, yeah, this is black acrylic paint. Let's see what else we got here. Got this one. Again, with the stickles. And the bike. See the stickles on the bike? Can't get too much. I'm already zoomed in really far. Yes, matte paint. All my paint, unless otherwise said, and other, and other, <laughs> unless otherwise stated, is matte craft paint. Just matte craft paint. I use. I like Americana. <clears throat> I like Americana, but it doesn't have to be Americana. But I just like. I like the coverage. I like the colors. It's matte. So yeah. So this is this right here. I can feel it and tell. That's that's craft paint, blue craft paint in this case. And let's see here. What else do we have in this one? Like this on this one. And this little guy on the seahorse. You like Americana paint too, Desiree? Yeah. The balloon one's your favorite, Faithful. 
And then let's see. Oh, this one. Little frog. Little mermaid. Love the seahorse. My daughter is teaching, is teaching me to post them tomorrow morning. So they are at my daughter's house. Okay, Dusty. Yeah, just next day or two. Let me let me know, okay? Um, these numbers seem to have been corrected. Oh, oh, it does. Yeah, we got 230 something people here now. Yeah, they just popped in like <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Yeah. For a while, for all morning, it's just been said 30, 31, 30, 31. And we had more more thumbs up than we had people here. So yeah. Yeah. Now we got 232. So yeah. Other cousin book, fairy tale like in general. I know, Miro, right? Remember, guys, we're giving away, we're giving away a, a copy of um, well, you see the glare, but it's because it's still wrapped. Miss Melody sent us two books, so we're going to give away one. Um, this one is the last one we were working in, and as I have obviously not finished it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can see I started doing some light coming out of the windows here. And, again, this is black acrylic paint. And the, way, the reason you can do this kind of effect is because this is black acrylic paint. Hi, Donna. <laughs> I think you can only give me one thumbs up, Hazel. <laughs> You're so sweet. And then this is the, one of the doors, see? So we got this one going on. And again, I started painting the background here black and then started adding a little bit of glow, uh, pencil, pencil glow onto the paint there. And that's as far as I got on this. I really should finish this one, shouldn't I? Let me put a post-it note. <laughs> Let's finish that one soon. Again, started adding a little bit of pencil glow there around that candle. So, yeah, this one's in progress. Thank you. Like You like the mushrooms? Yeah, they're t there we go. You can see the color a little better when I tilt it. There we go. Yeah, I shade around every little, every little, I don't want to call it a, a, a spore, maybe, a spore. <laughs> little spores. Oh, uh, let's see. And yeah, that's it. You saw that one and you saw the, uh, again, there's some more mushroom with the little spores on them. I don't know what they are. Warts? Mushroom warts? <laughs> mushroom warts uh is your glow white yeah the uh yeah on that one yeah that was just white pencil <clears throat> that's just white pencil might have a little bit of posca right there and then that's all pencil up here see how it's kind of fuzzy yeah that's pencil <laughs> yes mushroom warts okay and then let me put that one back here this one is Magical Delights. Again, let's see if I can get the... Yeah, there it goes. Let's start from the back where I did the doors on the... Here we go, this one. So again, these were the little doors you cut out. Now, these didn't have anything on the back. I had to add my own wood grain to these. Hi, Jean. Get up and eat coffee. I got to go make me some coffee. That in unfinished piece fits in with Sammy's fall color along. Do that one one day. She's doing a fall color along. Okay, so I can I can take a half finished page and be a part of it. <laughs> okay, Sam. Yeah, I'll finish that page. Ah, uh, yeah. I still I haven't finished the pug that I started doing the pug that Jen reading with pug sent me or showed me asked me to color one and I haven't finished that one yet either. So getting ready to attempt a glow. Okay, yeah, you gotta have, you have to have a, a base of acrylic paint. It doesn't have to be black. It just, here comes a cat. It doesn't have to be black. It's just that the pencil will show up better on the black than say yellow, right? Or light pale blue, you know? It's the glow is at the night, you know, at nighttime. So it'll be around candles or coming out of a window. So, yeah, so these are my little fairy, um, what do you call it, um, 
birdhouses. So I had to draw my own wood grain because I think these were just blank in this this in this particular book. There we go. See how I did the little glow coming out there. there we go. Now you can you can use Posca or paint. If you want to put a glow coming on top of just pencil, then you can use paint. Okay, you can use just Posca pens or acrylic paint. So like here, I could put down acrylic orange, orange acrylic paint, and then white pencil on top or white Posca. Um, but to have that glowy, soft effect, you have to do that on top of paint. Um, yeah, I know they're so cute, right? You can't call your mushroom spores beauty marks. <laughs> beauty marks on the, yeah, the, those are mush, uh, they're um, mushroom and, uh, well, this is a gourd here. So those gourds have warts now. Let's not call them beauty marks. Those are full on warts. <laughs> uh, okay, what else have I done in this one? Uh, okay, the little mouse here. Got this one done. Again, I'm trying to tilt it so there's not a really glare. I left the background white but I I'll, see all the little um see all the little moss there I I drew all the little moss in there all you have to do for that is where's my where's that pen I hear let's see. to do the little moss yeah let's see if I can hold this up just a little bit okay you just kind of squiggle it all around like this and then just you know put a few little dots and you can make it as thick as you want but it's just done with a pen the little moss the little moss bits. That black background really makes the colors pop. Yeah, I love a black background. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Let's, I must have this one bookmarked. See, this would be a good one for a black background. And then you can do that yellow, um, you know, do a candle and have the glow coming off the candle. Uh, let's see what else do we have in here. Okay, the um, intro page here. I think that's the last one. <clears throat> the intro page of the perfume bottle here. Got that one. Okay, so that one is Magical Delights. All right, oops, on my foot. All right, let me put these aside. And again, we're going to work in the new Fairy Miracles. And we do have another copy for a giveaway in a little bit. So we'll color for about 30 minutes. Makes the colors pop. Um, I'll use your moss in my pumpkin drawing for Intel. Yay! Yeah, Karen. It's fun. I, I I used to do that a lot when I did calligraphy. Um, let me see about the black piece of paper. I'm working on a uh, zine over here too for the people that support the channel. Let's see here. Where is my, where's my oh here it is? So, like, let's say you just had like, you know, I had the letter. You know, D, you know, if I did, and I did a lot of calligraphy, right? So, okay, eh, well, I won't fix the lighting right yet. But if I did, you know, a nice calligraphy illuminated letter, right? So after I did all the decorations and all the, you know, whatever on the, on the letter, gold, if there was any gold leaf or anything like that. And then what I would do is then I would just, you know, do a lot of, of um, I would do it with a thinner pen. This is thick, thick. But I would, you know, put vining on the lettering like that. This was back in the 80s when you hand did your calligraphy. Does anybody remember those days? Before you could print out your lettering on the computer. <laughs> anyway, so we will be doing a giveaway for uh, and I and I'm I'm guessing that the same thing that was in mind the bookmark, the little letter, all this was inside of this book, the little you know uh, signed thing there. That's probably on the inside of this one too. Kathy, you gotta leave. Okay, I was hoping you'd stay. You know, maybe you'd be in the drawing. Okay, all right. So now I got to adjust the lighting again. Because it got a little bright. Da, 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 da. There we go. All right. Only as oldies remember that, Julie Topaz. Yeah. Yeah. You like to do calligraphy? You did calligraphy too? 
<laughs> Cheryl, yeah, yeah. How do you give numbers to people who are here? There's so many. You uh, are, I don't do it now, but I'll tell y'all how it works. When uh, when we do the drawing, I will have uh, random.org. I'll put like now we have 230 something people here. So I'll put in in random.org. I'll put between one and say 250. And when I type in go, when I type in go, you will put in one number. One number only. If you put in more than one number, our new rule is you are disqualified. One number only between one and 250. The first person closest to the random.org number will win. That's how we do it with so many people. And everybody can go back and, you know, scroll back in the chat. And I, and I wait for at least two of my mods to confirm who was the closest without going over. Okay, that's how it works. Yeah. We'll do it here in a few minutes. So I want to get started. I want to get started coloring. So what did I decide on? What did I decide on? Did I decide on the library? I think I decided. Yeah, I'm decide. Now, I'm going to work on this, guys. I doubt in the next two hours that I'll be able to completely finish this. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to clamp this down. See how it wants to stay open. Let me see. Where's my? I know I've got some big clips here somewhere. Let me, set, let me put that on there for a minute. Um, I'm going to clip it open so that it's not, I'm not fighting the, fighting the, you know, book wanting to be open here. Like that. Just put a book there. So let's something like this. There we go. So it'll stay open. And we're going to come over here to the middle. Okay. Do you have any streams where you use acrylic paint that I can watch? Yes. Um, a little creative most of i can't say everyone but the bulk of them will have something with the acrylic paint i can't tell you exactly which ones because i have we are over a thousand videos now and my color book playlist you can go to my now you can find my color book uh, uh videos um i have a playlist with color book in the name in the playlist but I, I don't uh, tag it as acrylic painting in it, you know. So, yeah. Probably a good one to look for is anything that I've done by Kirby Rosanna's. Anything that I've done by Kirby, Phantomorphia, Anamorphia, Mythomorphia, Imagimorphia, any of the Kirby Amorphia books, they will probably have paint in them. That's, that would be a good place to start. You know, here. Let me grab one of my Kirby books. It's okay, so let me just show you real quick the Mythomorphia here where I've colored some pages with this one's a lot of acrylic paint. Acrylic paint backgrounds. This one's not done. Acrylic paint background. My uh, werewolf. This one has like four parts. It should have had five parts, but one of them didn't upload to YouTube. This was back when I was streaming on Ustream before I went live on YouTube. Here's a good one. This is a good one for it. Look for the Kraken. Yeah. Look for this one. That's all acrylic in the background there. And I added my own. This is all my own stars little nebula, little planets, all that's added in. Okay, yeah, Jasmine, my Jasmine books, yeah, some of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith books, these both have a uh, blue background with white smoky paint effect. So, uh, yeah, my Jasmine, those would be good. Look for the Jasmine Beckett Griffith ones, too, in the playlist. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so I'm going to just start with, um, I think I'm just going to start with, with uh, color pencil. And I'm just going to use some, um, let me move our giveaway book to the side here so nothing gets happens to it. 
Um, I need the scissors. I got to keep making space. So thanks everybody for being here on hump day. Mike, 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 hump day. Happy hump day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I use I use many mediums on a page if I need to. Yes, you can do that, Cheryl. Yes, you can. It's your color book. My motto is, you are the boss of your color book. <laughs> and I always tell you, Clara, Kirby, they are not going to email you and tell you you colored it wrong. <laughs> uh, it, the, it could have been Desiree. The Kraken could have, the blue, the teal part could have been a watercolor wash. It could have been, or it could have been an acrylic wash. I don't remember. <laughs> but the background, um, she, I thought she was talking about the background, the sky. Um, the black background was acrylic paint. I know that for a fact. Okay, so let's see about starting with some... Let's see. Let's let's start with the little guy here, and I'll go ahead and zoom in even more here. Let's see how close we can get and still keep and still keep some. Uh, I gotta lighten it up a little. There we go. How's that looking, guys? Okay. Happy home day. Yeah. All right. So if I get, and this is even a little, it's a little fuzzy already. Is that too fuzzy, guys? Do I need to maybe back it out one? Because it the, this close, I mean, I am like slammed in there. It's really close. I don't want it to get too, um, let's try to autofocus again. And I get a nice tan usually when I zoom in. I uh, like the library page. I retired from 25 years. I came. Oh, Cynthia. A woman after my own heart. A librarian. Do you do, do, do decide on your color combination? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I don't really. I look at the page and decide what I think, you know. Uh, like, do I want these to be blueberries? So they'll probably be purple here. Um, I like my little elves to have like either like olive green or green or he could be green and then this could be browns, but I'm going to have a lot of brown with the wood. So I'm kind of considering that it's going to be a lot of brown. Um, so let's just take, um, let's go ahead and just start with, um, and don't laugh at when I just pick, <laughs> I have bigger pencils guys. I have all my pencils like this is my um, ochre. I have a bigger one, but I just grabbed, right? Like here's another, here's a uh, dark umber. Let's just grab a couple of browns here. That's the same one. Well, let's just start with these two. Let's just start with these two. <laughs> you do miss it? Uh, I love I love books. I, lo I love to read. I love books. I love book collecting. I love libraries. I love bookstores. <laughs> okay, so let's just say, let's just start with, what do I want to start? Let's start with a book in his hand here. All right, so I'm just going to, and again, guys, a lot of the base, it, you know, is just a base. That's just it. It's just a base. I like highly contrasted, uh, high, you know, very, very dark darks and in contrasting with light lights and then like let's just say he's holding let's get a gold pen here. see here's where the mixed media comes in all right so i need gold so i want a gold spine so i'll put gold there with the just a gel pen these are the pentel medium metallic you can get a gold and a silver one in a pack i get them at hobby lobby a pack of two and they're only like three bucks, four bucks, and I use a 40% off coupon, so they cost me less than a dollar, and they last forever. So, yeah, so, and then maybe a little bit of gold on the cover there, like right along the. Oh, we zoomed in. I, if I zoom in more, it's going to start getting fuzzy. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. Um, no, I don't like chalky stuff. 
my pan pastels kind of kind of um what do you call it uh changed my mind on on a certain kind of pa of pastel and that's pan pastel because they're not chalky i don't like i wouldn't use makeup yeah no i wouldn't use it because for one i have pan pastels and number two i don't like chalky chalky stuff yeah and you'd have to seal that if you used makeup you'd have to seal that uh if i just use color pencil marker acrylic paint i don't seal those the only time I seal anything is with um, my mixed media collage, my altered books, and my pan pastels, and my art cards, which are mixed media collage. Uh, I haven't tried to use it yet. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I got a little bit of gold on the little trim on the book. So now I'm just going to go in here. I'll need to sharpen these in a minute. Uh, I guess I'll do the cover. I know. So I got a little thing of all kinds of sharpeners here. <clears throat> I just like any kind of sharpener that's metal. I'm not particular. Any kind of metal sharpener. I can't stand that chalk feel. Yes, exactly, Catherine. It's it's like chalk on a it's like chalk on a chalkboard. <laughs> all right, so let's just do this whole book kind of a. So I'm just going to put a base here on the whole thing. And, you know, you can use markers, um, water-based markers. You can use watercolor. These pages are thick. They're thick enough to stand water. As long as you don't oversaturate and you dry in between layers. You have to dry in between layers if you use any kind of watercolor. Let it dry. Let it dry and then add another layer. What is Audible? Audible is... Um, books on tape. I mean, you can, it's like get books from the library that are audio books or audio books. Like, yeah. I think Jean uses Audible. I don't know if she's still here. She might have napped. <laughs> pan pastels are a miracle. I love my pan pastels. But, you know, let's be honest. You can't, I could not, well, I guess I could. But uh, color this little book with pan pastels because the tools aren't that small. So even when I use pan pastels, like I could use it on his face, okay, because it's big enough. Uh, pan pastels for me are great. Anything that you have to blend or anything like that. Um, and then still do the pencil detail. I still do detail with pencil. Let me find my picture I did. Uh, oh, Sue's message me. I have to read that after a while. Let me find the picture of the cat that I did uh, for um, Lynn. It was before Inktober. So let's scroll back before that. I still do. Um, here it is. So here's the picture of the cat I did for Lynn. So even though this, let me see, I got another one here. Here's a close-up. So even though all this is pan pastel base, I still went in there with pencil on the detail. The eyes, there's pencil detail, right? But the base is pan pastel. Now, this was not a color book page. This is just Lynn's cat that I did. <laughs> yes, our, by, our boy Milo. Yes, Milo. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and again, they're good for backgrounds too, but there's not a lot of background here. You know, it's just, it's not a lot of background. Okay. So now I'm going to get in here and start doing some shading. around the gold there. Maybe a shadow under his arm there. I'm imagining that that gold, which you could also go back in there with something shiny, you know, some glittery something, that that little um, gold border there would probably be a raised, raised up maybe. 
and just kind of put the story in my head as I'm going. Can y'all see okay? If I get any closer, I'm thinking it's going to really get fuzzy. Are you using, no, no, they're not watercolor pencils. They're just Prismacolors, Rebecca. They're just Prismacolor. I don't really care for watercolor pencils. If I'm going to use watercolor, it's going to be the br real brush markers, the Kurataki real brush markers, or my um, Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons, where you can take. Maybe I'll just do a little something with them just to show you. The Neo Color crayons. Now, if you do get the Car Caran d'Ache Neo Color, make sure you get the two water soluble two. Okay, the the Neo Color ones are just wax crayons, like your Crayola crayons. They are not water soluble. So let's see. Let's maybe. Uh, what do I want to do? Maybe a little shirt. I'll just pick something just to show you. I'll get an olive green here. And then what I do with how I use the Neo Colors is I take my water brush. Oh, this one's empty. Okay, I got to go get some water in this. Hang on. Let me grab some water. Okay, it's got some water in my brush. Remember, guys, if you have any questions, put them in caps. Okay, so I use a water brush. These are the Pentel ones that kind of have a flare to them. I don't know. I just somehow I like the tips on these better than other brands. And then what I do now, I'm going to flick, I'm going to get some, pick up some um, pigment off the crayon. I do not recommend, because I've done it accidentally before, don't flick. Don't pick this up over your color book page because what you're going to do is while you're scraping off some pigment onto your brush, you're flicking little flecks of paint onto your page. So when you do this, go over here to the side and I just pick some up off the, off the crayon. Okay. And now, and these are highly pigmented. I, I've had these, I don't know, Hubster got these for me six, seven years ago. And I, you cannot even hardly tell that I've used them. And I use them quite often, but they just last forever. They're kind of like pan pastels. They last forever. Okay, and so let's just do his little shirt here. So you can see it's quicker when you have a base of something. Okay. Oh, it looks like he's wearing some kind of a monk's, it looks like a, um, a full outfit. So it'll have to be his whole outfit here. Which, by the way, I, I am in the middle of writing. I, I started writing a story. This was like back in 2000. Hmm, how, um, it had to be 2000. How old is my blog? Hmm. Probably 15 years ago. No, it's even more than that. Maybe 20 years ago. Started writing a story called Monk's Mail. And for some reason lately, I've been wanting to get back into that. Writing my story called Monk's Mail. I might get back into it. Oh, okay, so there's a base coat. Don't forget that. Oh, thanks, Christy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, how do you store my, I keep my Neo colors in their tins. I don't, I leave it in the tin it came in. So like this, see, and it's a double, it's a double tray. So I just, if I want, if I want to use all the colors, I just take this tray, put it up in the lid. And then I have them all like right here in a tray, right? All right, so now this is it's it's buckling just the slightest bit, but not it doesn't go through because I put minimum amount of water. Now, if I want to add another layer of the of the neo color, I want to dry this or just let it dry. But I have a heat gun, so I can I can dry it faster, right? You want to dry in between layers. I love Neo Colors too, and I do use them quite often. So now that that's perfectly dry, 
I can add another layer. Oh, oh, here we are. I can add another layer, just like you do watercolor, just how you layer up watercolor, because that's what they are. They're watercolor in a stick, right? So you can add another layer. And I just like the control you have by pulling it off the crayon rather than trying to color, trying to color with the crayon. I know, I know they are, aren't they, Eileen? Okay, so you can do this technique. And then you can still add pencil on top. So anyway, yeah, I'm writing, a, uh, well, I've been writing it well. I've had the story partially going. Probably for, I would say, uh, how long have I been? At least 20 years. Oh, here comes the cat. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I want to get back to that. I might illustrate it, just have like an illustrated book of the story. But it's, it's like multi-parts. It's like multi-parts. So we'll see. Okay, so I might have to make the cat go out. She's right there. Hey, there, little princess. Because she's going to want to get on my get on my stuff here. She's just sitting there right now. But okay. All right. So there you see, I got another layer there. All right. So let's put that away. And I and to clean my little brush off, I just use a Kleenex. A Kleenex seems to work the best to pull the excess paint off the tip, and I just kind of squeeze the water out. That's the only time I really squeeze any water out is either when I'm mixing colors in a tray or cleaning the brush off. Okay. Hi, Louise. Okay, what time is it? We've been here. Ten, okay, 1030, which is 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, we're going to do the giveaway. All right, so let me move these Neos out of the way. I might pull another one out and use it, but for right now, I'm going to move it out of the way. All right, so let me dry this. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the book for a minute. Then we'll go back to his outfit. Okay. So I've been using the, the, uh, what color is it? Ochre and dark umber. <clears throat> Can y'all see okay? I hope. Shadow here in his hand. All right, so now I've got this layer down. And I'm going to go in here with the, let me sharpen. So it is tiny. I mean, it looks really big because I'm so zoomed in. Uh, Karen on Etsy, Clara Markova's Etsy. Here's her, here's her website right there. But she has an Etsy shop too. Now, I don't know how much the shipping's going to be, guys. They, they, you know, unless she has a distributor for her Etsy in the States. She's in the Czech Republic. And I know Melody gifted me this one and one for a giveaway. And, and I can tell you the shipping was not cheap. <laughs> just saying. All right, so now I'm going to go in here with the umber and just get it a little bit darker. I like a lot of high contrast in my coloring. That's what gives it the depth. And it's also when people ask me to look at their color books or their color book pages and say, I love the colors I pick, but what did I do wrong? It doesn't look like yours. Not that they're trying to, you know, copy color for color. But what, what I find is what they're not doing is adding enough darks. They're not putting enough contrast. Their colors are usually always good good choices for colors, but they don't do enough darks, not enough contrast. Can y'all see all that contrast I'm adding to this little tiny book? Just this little, that it just makes all the difference.
Um, these are these. I use a lot of different brands, Little Creative, but these are just Prismacolor. These are just Prismacolor. Um, I've used Prismacolors for so many years. I'd, I'd say over 30 years. I don't know. Me and Janet need to work that out sometime. How long we've used Prismacolors? <laughs> but uh, used them, um, you know, back when they were Barrel, Sanford. You know, they've gone through different names, but Prismacolor. I've used them for so long. I, they're just like my BFFs, you know. I just know them so well. But I use, I'll use Polychromos. I have Lumies. I have Holbies. You know, I'll use different ones. Inktober Challenge really helped you. Lens, Lens, but didn't, yeah. Uh... Carrie Ann said it was twenty dollars to have shipped to Australia. Yeah, in Australia, that's a whole nother ball game right there, Carrie Ann. You know, when you ship to Australia, I know that's you're really talking shipping costs there. And then you can just go over where you've added the dark and just kind of blend it in. Prismacolors are awesome blending pencils. Let me tilt it just it's a little bit flashed out. There we go. I guess I could zoom in a little more. I don't know. I probably just need to move the camera down. Let's try. No, see, it starts getting fuzzy when I click it in. I can hold it up and it's... Maybe I just need to move the book up, like stack it up on some books or move my camera down. That's what I need to do is just move the camera rather than clicking it with the zoom option, which kind of makes it a little fuzzy. Probably if I just drop the camera down. That would be awesome. Thanks, Terry. Bye, Deborah. I do try to kind of keep my fingers, you know, try to keep the pencil back so that my fingers are out of the way. But okay. Now, if I want to kind of blend that in, I could take like a cream color, maybe. Oh, let's go with um, a good color for blending is ginger root. Rather than using white on brown, ginger root is an awesome blending color. So like I want to blend out that. It's just not as stark as white is. Okay, now I want to go back in there with the sharpen again. Be a nice sharp point. Bye, Chris Christy. Can't stay till 10.30. I'm going to do the giveaway. And even if you're in Australia, I'll ship it to you. <laughs> That's why I appreciate when y'all send me stamps, postage money, and, tip, and PayPal tip jars. Trust me, I'm not too proud to say I love the PayPal tip jar. <laughs> Hupster does too when he has to go to the mailbox and mail stuff for me. Because I do do a lot of, uh, I got a little bit on the finger right there. Uh, let's just take a, let's take my paws and kind of, those fingers are tiny. So you can like use it as a, like a whiteout. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, DJ. Good to have you. Thanks, guys. I love doing my giveaways, though. And anybody that does support the channel with the PayPal tip jar or Super Chat, I do send you something. You just have to send me your address because, you know, I can't read your mind. So if you send me your address, email me your address, and you, you tip jar me, then I will send you something kind of like Patreon, but without having to be Patreon, <laughs> you know. So I'm just kind of going in there and, and I am taking my time on this. 
you know, you don't have to rush. I do kind of rush sometimes during the show just to get more done. But, you know, when you're coloring yourself, you want it by yourself. You want to just take your time and chill and, you know, enjoy the process, right? Hi, Tammy. Yeah, diamond paint. A lot of people are doing the diamond paint. I can't, my eye, I can't see that. That's too tiny. I can't do diamond painting. Those little, you know, just like cross stitch. I can't do that anymore. Not that I did it a lot, but when I worked for a cross stitch company designing, you know, I did have to know how to cross stitch. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to leave the book there like that for now. You know, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I want to, um, let's work on his little, since we've got a base coat there. And I just keep my pencils, guys, in silverware trays. Now, these are not all my Prismacolors, but they're, it's a good assortment. If I need more specific color, then I'll just reach up here and get one, <laughs> you know, out of a bundle. But I have enough in, right here for for most um, most jobs. Oh, here comes the little princess again. Come walking on through. Do you hear the pencils, little? I call her the little princess because she's like, touch me, pet me, pet. No, 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 no. With your eyes. Although sometimes she'll lay here and let me pet her. Y'all see me? Y'all see her do that? Okay. Let's see. Do I want? Dark green, and I'll have to sharpen this uh, green ochre. I'm looking for olive green. Where's my olive green? Oh, is that it? No, it's not. Where's my olive green? There we go. Okay, let me sharpen this. Well, I'll go with these two. Well, I might use these three. All right, let me sharpen, guys. Don't get in there. Don't get in my, don't knock my brushes over. I move my paint brushes into different containers and they tip over real easy. Oh, love coloring with a cup of tea. I finished about four diamond paintings. Yeah, but the, they're, they're so tiny. How do you see? How do you see it? Do you use a magnifying glass? Uh, I'm using Prisma Color Crafty uh, Kitty. Yep. Um, Prisma Colors, I would say, are probably my favorite just because I know them. I know them. I pet them. They're my friends. <laughs> I just, I'm used to them. Okay, so I have here a dark green, uh, olive green, and green ochre. So... I'm going to start with, uh, I'll just start with the middle one, olive green. Yes, little princess, I see you, baby. Yes, let me pet you for just a second. Pet, pet. Here, guys, look. Let go of my bracelet. Let go of the bracelet, baby. Let go of the bracelet. Let go of the bracelet. You're hung up. There we go. Oops, I'm going. There she is. There's my little Malibu, my little princess, the little princess. Mm -hmm. Nope, can't have the bracelet. Okay. <laughs> um, Crayola brand is, is okay, but they don't blend they're good for just laying down some color and you can layer them okay, but they don't blend. Like Prisma colors are very soft. They're very soft, like my kitty. Soft kitty, warm kitty. You know, they're like that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go in here and add right on top of the Neo color. Are we having fun yet? We're not getting, you know, we're not moving real fast, but that's okay. We move fast on a lot of the shows, so we can we can chill today. See how that's starting to.
I really need to, I really need to be closer. I want to be right there. I'm holding it up though. I'm not zoomed in. No worries. I love the coloring. Oh, good, Rebecca. I'm glad. So, yeah, I got to, I'm going to work on, I'm try to work on my story, Monk's Mail. Where's your brother, Malibu? He's usually the one up here trying to get the cords and getting in trouble. You usually just lay down and are so good. Okay, I'll sharpen again. Never own the Prismacolor pencils and novel. Yeah, Prismacolors, and they're not, you know, they're not as cheap as Crayola, but they're certainly not expensive like Polychromos, Holbys, you know, or any of those. So they're, they, they are, to me, they are a budget-friendly pencil. They're so worth it if you're not, you know, if you want good results. And I use them for portraits, you know. I use them for, yeah, I just love my Prismas. I love me my Prismas. Bye, May. May, you should can stay till 1030. Maybe she already has the book. I don't know. Does May have the book? Has May done a color page like Sammy has? Sammy, I don't know if she's finished it, but she's working on a page out of this book. Picola on troll duty today. The mods are my mods are good mods. I'm telling you, they are on it. Trolls, trolls don't have a chance against my mods. <laughs> yeah, hey Zeely, by the way. Yeah, Prisma's rule. They are. They're just a good price, and they're just a good. You know, they they're just so blend. I know, Terry, <laughs> Terry, one of my mods, said, your mods rock. <laughs> Terry, now, Terry, you don't stay too long, over, overdo your shoulder. I'm going to do the giveaway here in a minute, Terry, and you probably need to go rest. <clears throat> Terry, <clears throat> Terry does not need to overdo her shoulder. What time is it? 10 20 okay it's 10 27 okay i think we can go ahead and do that real quick i don't want terry to overdo okay so there's a there's the next layer and see then what i'll do next is i'll take the darker even and get in there even darker see how that gives it such contrast that depth And it really, I use a minimum amount of pencils in a, in a section. Like I'll use maybe three colors here. You know, I use three colors other than the gold, three colors on the book. You know? Oh, the other thing that I'm not doing that I should be doing is keeping a piece of card stock behind here uh, so that you don't dent the next page. Um, this is he pretty heavy card stock. But it's still a good habit to have to put a piece of uh, cardstock behind your page so um, you don't dent the next page. Or, you know, if you is there any chance of something you're using going through? You don't want to do that. So see how it's starting to look up like, yeah. Hey, Sharon. I think I said hi to you. Okay. So I'm going to zoom back out for a minute. So you can see how, oh, I mean, maybe just a little bit more zoomed out. I should just try to move my camera down. That's what I should try to do. Okay. So there we go. So you can see how tiny we are actually coloring. See, we're coloring. 
All right. <clears throat> so got a copy here. Another copy from Miss Mel Miss Melody, wrapped in plastic. Will be stay wrapped in plastic. Yeah, no numbers yet. <laughs> Because uh, we got we have over 250 people here. So what we're gonna do, let me go over the rules again. Don't put any numbers yet. Wait till you see me. Wait till you see me type in go. When I type in go, put in a number. Let me find a pen here. <clears throat> put in a number between one and two hundred and fifty. Okay. Put in a number when I type in go, one number only. Do not put in more than one number. You can just qualify yourself. One number only. Okay. The closest without going over to the random.org number that will be generated after you guys get done putting in the number, the closest without going over will win. And again, I like to do a book giveaway the first Wednesday of every month. All right? Now you can go. Now you can go. Okay? <laughs> everybody put in a number between 1 and 250. And I'll give everybody a minute. I'll just color on this little guy for another minute while we're doing that. Put in a little bit more shading. So everybody, one number only. Okay. I love doing my giveaways, but I'm telling you people, it's like herding cats. Ask the mods. It is like herding cats. Give everybody another minute. Don't wait too long because when I type in, when I type in stop, no numbers count after that. So put your in the number. Okay. Then it's the first person, Gail. The first person that puts in the number closest that gets it. Because a lot of people put in duplicate numbers. Somebody might put in the same number as you, but it's the first person. Yeah. Go ahead. Get your numbers in. Last call. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Quickly, quickly. All right, that's it. No more numbers. No more numbers. So now I am going to go to random.org. Got on my phone here. I'm going back to random.org. This is where we picked the winner a minute ago for the, uh, what do you call it, uh, Inktober. Now I'm going to go to 250. Okay. So between 1 and 250, that's the leftover number from the other drawing. Okay, so now I'm going to generate a new number. How close am I? Can y'all see? Oh, let's do this. Okay. 1 and 250. We generate a number. 98. The closest to 98. Okay. 98 without going over. And everybody can go back and look too, but my mods, I, I wait for uh, two mods to tell me who won. 98. And thank you again, Melody, for giving us the books. Y'all make sure and, you know, when you see her, she may have already gone. M Melody may have already gone to sleep. Um, she's 12-hour difference, I think. 12-hour difference, maybe 13 with the time change. So, um, yeah, but y'all make sure and thank Miss Millie. She's very generous and shares with all of us, not just me. She's good with a lot of streamers. So, um, okay. 
93. Is that what I said, 93? Let's go back and look. <laughs> oh, 98. I'm sorry. Nine, it was 98. 98. Whoever is closest to 98 without going over. Okay, Kim had 91. Was there anybody else? <clears throat> so it looks like Kim. Which Kim? Kim Mistrada? Kim Mistrada? Mistrata? I'm not sure how you say it, but Kim Mistrata. Okay, so everybody double check. It looks like she had 91. Kim had 91. Okay, so we've got a bunch of confirmations. So Kim, email me your address. Like, do it right now. <laughs> we'll do it today anyway. Email me your address, and I will send you out. It'll probably be Friday. No, it'll be Saturday, because I'm sending a whole bunch of mail out on Saturday. Um, so Saturday, I'm doing a whole bunch of happy mail out on Saturday. So email me your address and you get a copy of Fairy Miracles. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I'm waiting to make sure she sees. I want to see her comment to make sure she sees that she won. Okay. I'll put this on her book. Congratulations, Kim. Let's see where she, did she say something yet? Did Kim say that she, oh, there she is, so excited. Okay, so Kim saw. I'm so excited. Okay, so Kim, email me your address, okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I got, I got a bunch of mail to get out on Saturday. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. Oh, you're Kimmy Poo, Miss. Okay, so that's Kimmy Poo Kim. Okay, I'll write that down, too. But still send me your address, Kimmy Poo. Okay? Send me your address again, even if I have it. Send it to me again. Yeah, I know, but... Can you just do it again, Kim, just so I make sure I have your current address? Because um, I will, uh, depending on what country are you in. If you're in the States, I will uh, priority mail it to you. If you're out of country, we pray for the best. <laughs> and thanks again, Melody. Yeah, because I, I can't send priority mail out of country. So, yeah. <laughs> I know everybody's thanking Melody so sweet they know so sweet she really is all right so let's um yeah again I wish I could just move the camera South Florida oh well then you'll yeah if I send it Saturday you'll probably get it Monday Kim priority mail yeah just mail just email me your address again just so we make sure okay you know I know I have a lot of people's addresses that are some years old I don't want to I want to make sure I have the correct address when you win something yeah all right so now you see where I've added a little bit of dark here now I'm going to take my olive green and I'm going to do a little bit of blend. Oops, I sharpened that and broke the tip. Yay, yeah, congratulations. Now, Kim, do you color or will this be a new experience for you? We like to hear, we like to know what you're going to do. Are you going to, do you color or is this going to be new for you? Which would be awesome, in my opinion. It would be awesome if you uh, have not colored before. Because you will get hooked, I'm telling you. You will get hooked on coloring. Hooked on coloring work for me. <laughs> uh, okay, hi, Gloria, by the way. Hi, precious so-and-so. Anybody else I missed? Oh, did Shelly ask something? I just saw Kenny said, Shelly, put it in caps. I didn't see what you said, Shelly. Yeah, it rolled off. 
a color, but I don't have any of her books. Oh, good. Well, good, though. You do now. You do now. All right, so now this is like my third color in here. Just kind of going over the other two colors and adding just a, like a an all, more olive -y color in here. What did Vicky say? Kim will put it on eBay for two hundred. <laughs> well, I hope not, Vicky. That's how Vicky's mind works. There, that's how Vicky mind. That's because she she has that zombie. She has a, well. It's been a long time. Y'all probably don't know Vicky, but yeah, she's our zombie, our zombie um, Vicky, and our um, alligator Vicky. <laughs> must be it. Must be something about that. Uh, that water down in Louisiana, <laughs> that Cajun water. <laughs> I've known um, Julie Topaz, who's one of the mods, and Vicky Cajun uh, Cajun. Um, it's Cajun Stamper, abbreviated. I've known those two ladies for eight years. Let's keep breaking this. I don't know. I must have picked up one that has a, a swamp water. <laughs> Is that what Joyce says? The swamp water? Yeah, the gator girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're from Louisiana also, Desiree? Had the number and clicked on enter by mistake. Huh? And hi, Elvia. Uh, Elvia? Elvia? Elvia. That's a pretty name. Elvia. And Janet and Eileen, the Enabler Elf, been knowing them probably for at least probably seven years. I've been knowing some of these people a long time. You are too, Shelly. Look at all you Cajun girls. Y'all could probably have some kind of a get together, some kind of a art retreat coloring thing or art something if y'all are all louisiana's not that big i mean i could even probably make that one <laughs> drive to louisiana well i used to draw flowers and she color shade it looked real oh do you still have any of her art a teal uh a Adele, Atidel, I know I'm not saying that right. Hi, Louise. Oh, okay. Yes, the fairy book. We're coloring the fairy book, Louise. Yes, arty people. Arty people. Okay, so he has on a little, like, green color. Because, you know, he's a forest monk. Forest Monk's going to have, like, instead of, like, a black, it's not a frock. What do you call it? The monk clothes? Not a frock. <laughs> Just slip. Things slip my mind when I'm not trying to think of them. But anyway, he's going to have a, like, a green, not felt, um, wool. Wool. Like a green wool. Itchy wool. <laughs> You know, like army green blankets, those army green itchy wool blankets. Yeah, it's not a robe. There's another name I'm thinking for. <laughs> Terry. It's just a robe. Terry. <laughs> I love you, Terry. It's just a robe. All right, so now I'm going to go back with my um, my ginger root. <laughs> no, not a cloak. Um, wait a minute. Let me look it up. Okay, I gotta get out of thesaurus. Let me get it. Go, let me go on Google. Google is your friend. Let me go on Google. Go to thesaurus. Thesaurus. Go. A frock? I don't know. For some reason, I think of a frock. But I mean, that could be what I'm thinking of, Pamela. But a frock is like a woman's dress thing. A habit? No, a habit's a nun. A habit is what a nun wears. Okay, let's see. Thesaurus. Um, monk. Robe. I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe I just had to put in robe. Let's see. 
I put in monk robe. They said, did you mean microbe? <laughs> did you mean microbe? <laughs> a cassock. Yeah, that's what it, uh, that's what it is. I, that's what I was thinking of, Lynn. It has not, didn't go, it didn't, you know. Yeah, cassock. Yeah, a cassock, cassock. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just put in row. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's probably what it was. Frock did come up. Oh my gosh, cassock did not come up. Habit came up. But that's so the word I was looking for didn't even come up in the thesaurus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So now I'm using um, I'm using the same color ginger root that I used to blend the brown here. Okay, I'm using it on the green. It's just a good blend color other than white because white can look too white. <laughs> House dress. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to the green again. I need a little bit more green in here. <laughs> House dress, frock, nail, not on my monk. Okay, so speaking of words and word smithing, word smithing. An uncle, oh, Cassock came up as an uncle who was a cat, a, a cap, a Caspian monk. Um, shame on Google. Google is supposed to tell us everything. Well, technically, Sammy, let's blame it on the thesaurus because I, I, from Google, I went to a thesaurus and the thesaurus said, did not say it. So really a moo moo, Jerry. <laughs> okay. So speaking of words and, so, and that brought up the topic, what's everybody, uh, I know some of you are big readers reading with pods and some of y'all are big readers. What is everybody reading this week? Please tell me you're reading. You have some, even if you're not actually reading, you've got some book on your nightstand. You got something in the works. You got something in the lineup. You got some book you're waiting to read in, in, unless you're actually reading. What are you reading or having your lineup to read? Light and laughter. I just finished my first portrait in Prismas. Doesn't resemble anybody much, but who cares? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Hey. If you're not doing if you're not doing a portrait commission, yeah, doesn't matter, right? If it looks like the person, a person. Kim D, I'm the Kim that watches Survivor with Oh, Kim. Okay. So we have so many different names we go by. Okay. Well, still, you did email me though, right, Kim? Just to make sure I have your correct address. <laughs> Terry's reading the entertainment weekly. <laughs> Terry, I love you. Uh, okay, so <laughs> uh, Becky and Steve Johnson. Becky's all the Jack uh, Reacher books in order. Faithfulness. It's going by fast, too, guys. The Passage of Justin Cronin. I don't think I've heard of that one. Pamela is reading Fear by Bob Woodward. Uh, Carol is reading Strange the Dreamer. Pacola's reading The Creative Artist by Nita Leland. Oh, I love that book. I have that book, Pacola. I love that book. The Creative Artist by Nita. Do you have some, do you have her pen and ink books, uh, Pacola? The Shape of Water. Terry's reading The Shape of Water. Robin is, I've read eight books this week. Reading Consumed by J.R. Ward. Now the truth was, the truth Waits by Susanna Beard. Well, of course, Robin loves reading. You're going to read more than one book. <laughs> Stacy's reading the Encyclopedia of Medical Herbs. Now, Stacy, is that for your own benefit? Or are you doing that for like school or something? Great is reading by the sword. Suze is reading Think Like an Artist, per my suggestion. Um, Monday's Not Coming, Tiffany D. Jackson. That's what Danny is reading. Louise is reading book on crop circle. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah, I love me some history and some mystery. History and mystery. Light and Laughter is reading Lucid Dreaming by Steve Renha Renhaus. 
Uh, Barbara's reading The Apartment. Uh, just a creative artist. Okay, okay, Pacola. I have to send you Pacola. I might have to send you one of my Nina Leela. Nina Leela. Are you you do pen and you've been doing pen and ink before, right, Pacola? I don't know if you did uh, what you did all in. I'm trying to picture your Inktober, but I'm not picturing your Inktober for some reason, Pacola. Uh, Stacy, my own. I'm the family witch doctor. Oh, okay. I love herbs and and you know, remedies. Scoobs is off to moms. Thanks, Dee Dee. Thanks, Melody. Thanks, Mods. Thank you, Scoobs. Art Before Breakfast by Danny Gregory. Love that one, too. Got that one. Um, I'm reading the chat. <laughs> Crafty Kitty. I'm reading the chat. Uh, Connie's reading Pot Goes a Weasel. <laughs> You did something. Okay, I for I for I think you're on you're on Twitter more than anywhere, right, Bacola? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think let me look up you, Helen. Let me hang on. I, I I'm trying to picture your work. <laughs> Julie Topaz Fields chrom Chromatography by George Field and the Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. Yeah, Julie Topaz a big reader too. Victoria is reading a condensed version of Highly Sensitive People. Great Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews. Looks pretty so far. Thank you, Heather. Let me go on. Let me go on Twitter. Hang on. Why am I? I know. I know. I, I think I just kept missing yours for some reason, Pacola. You know, Helen, 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 Helen. There we go. Media. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So here's some of Pacola, our mod Pacola. Her real name's Helen. Wait, let me turn down the lighting. Let me turn down the lighting. There we go. Okay, wait. Oh. Okay, so here's some of here's some of Pacola's Inktober. You learned Bar Barbara said she learned English by reading Danielle Steele. Where are you from, Barbara? You're not in Germany. I don't remember where you are, Barbara. At this point of the year, I'm reading bills. <laughs> well, Eileen, the enabler, Alf. Oh, what a surprise. What a surprise, Eileen. <laughs> Tracy Gaines says, The Devil Colony by James Rollins. Stars, the new drawing in the right side of the brain should be coming in today. Yay, stars. Lynn Persuasion by Jane Austen. Um, okay, so here's some of Helen's stuff here. Look. I'm just on randomly on her Twitter. Look. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah, this this is on Twitter, guys. Pacola is Helen. Yeah, she's on she's on a uh, She's on Twitter. Look at that one. I love that one. These would make some nice little prints. You should print, you have these made into some prints. Pacola. Helen. Yeah, I know, right? They're good. Then she has, okay, so here's probably some of her ink ones. There's a, a bridge there. There's a door. And then look at this little raccoon, guys. Didn't she do? She did so good. I know. There's an eye. Love those shoes. See, wouldn't that make a nice little postcard? Just saying, girl. Tap, tap. Look at that uh, ribbon right there. I know, right? Dee Dee, did you see that art I tagged on IG yesterday? Um, I did faithful. It's not coming to my head right now, but I remember you tagged me. I saw it, but I don't remember. I don't remember what it is right now. So yeah, Pacola. So the reason I asked, and there's a whole bunch more guys if you want to she can she can tell you her I uh Twitter if she wants to. I don't know what her privacy settings are. Um hang on, Pacola. I'm looking. Give me a minute. I'm on my bookshelf. I'm on my bookshelf. I'm looking. Hang on. I'm looking for my Nina's. 
Where's my Nina's? Where are you, Nina? Where you be? Where are you? Where are you, Nina? Well, just a minute, guys. I'm on the bookshelf. I'm looking for Nina. Well, where are you, Nina? I thought you were right here with these. Nature journal. No, no. I know I've shown it to y'all before, so it's got to be here. I'll have to look for it later. I was going to show you my Nina Leland uh, pen and ink. I know I got one, maybe two of her books, but I'm not seeing it right there. Hmm. Well, if I find it, I'll show it to y'all next time. I'm really surprised I can't put my hand on it. Here's my Danny Gregory's. Oh, here's one. Here, here we go. This. Creating texture in pen and ink and watercolor. Oh, Claudia Nice. Okay, where's my Nina Leland? Nina Leland, she has watercolor. Is she watercolor? I got her too. <laughs> Nina Leland, she'll be in my watercolor section. Wait a minute. Oh, well, I'll look for her later. Let me make a note. Nina Leland. I think she's my watercolor. Let me write that down. I've got her and Claudia Nice mixed up. Claudia Nice does a pen and ink. Nina Leland. Does she do, is she do, okay. Is Nina Leland do the watercolor or does she do abstract um, acrylics? Which one is she? I mean, I can look it up, but, you know. Did we use the word tunic for the elf? No, we didn't. But it's really, a tunic would be more of the over, like, like this. But that's good. Tunic would be good too, but that's not okay. So, like, here's his little outfit, right? Here's his little outfit. Oops. Here's his little outfit. Wouldn't the tunic be this part? The overlay? Like, this part would be the tunic, right? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back and read me some more Cadfell. Where's J Lady Jan North? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and reread Cadfell. <laughs> Bye, Shelly. All right, so let's go back. Here. We're gonna. We're gonna just go for a little bit longer, guys. Did someone say yes? Yes, Lynn. A lot of people said robe, a shirt dress. Not on a monk, guys. I need to go look, I just need to go look up monk clothes, right? Because it's been, like I said, my story that I that I want to continue writing, it's been 20, I, it's probably at least 20 years, 20 years ago that I started that story. And so I don't remember all my terms, right? I don't remember all my monk terms. <laughs> Tunic. No, a tunic's not the neck. A tunic's like an overlay, like. You were kidding. <laughs> yeah, we got cassock. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah, Kenny. We that's the one I was thinking I was thinking of. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're, we have so much fun, guys. I have so much fun with you guys anyway. I hope y'all have fun here. Okay, I guess I should stop on this. All right, where's my, let me go back to my ginger root, which was what I was using to blend. Give it a little blend and smooth out here. <clears throat> Love the green. This is from Google. To a long calendar, Angelica order the habit consists of a tunic, Cup. Oh, so the tunic would be like the underwear? Would the tunic be like the long, like the robe type underwear? Because a tunic is covered. And the cowl, yeah. 
hood for monks and friars. Hi, Queen Sassy. Yeah. Okay, bye. Wait, Terry. Terry. Thanks, Terry, for being here and helping and hurting cats. Send our Terry off. Hang on. Let me get my soundboard here. Oh, that was loud. Even my cat's looking at that. <laughs> Have a good day, Terry. A saffron holding from the center. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. We're going to be going here in just a few minutes. We didn't get a whole lot done, but we did do a couple giveaways. We got to do some flips of the color book. We got to um, chat, you know. So it is a chat show. Nobody needs to email me and say or leave a comment and say, I wish you'd just get to the project. You're so chatty. It's a chat show. <laughs> we chat. Oh. So anyway, yeah, I'm just kind of blending out a little of this. I need a little bit more green down here, I think. Let's go with a little bit it's too light there, right there at the edge. We like to chat. Right here on this edge. <laughs> you live for the chat, Rachel. I know. That's what makes it fun for me. I mean, chatting with you guys while I'm doing the, the projects and ideas and all. It's the chat that makes it fun, right? That's why we're fibs. Friends in the box. All right. <clears throat> So we got a little bit done on him. Not too much. He needs a little bit more of the olive green here. And the Prisma colors just layer so nicely. They layer. They blend. I guess I, I call Prismas more blend. Polys are more for layering. But Prismas blend. As long as you don't get them too waxy built up. You can do a lot of. Get right here on this edge can do a lot of blending with your Prismas. We come for the art and stay for the chat. Oh, thanks, great. You guys are great. All right, so there you got a little bit of robe action going on there. Do I want the key? The key might be black, might stand out really nice. Let's start with a, let's just do that key like a dark gray and some black. Oh, thanks, Natalie. We're not getting very far today. You know, sometimes I rush through and get a lot done. So I'm just going to put a light coat of gray here. The little beads, like, I don't know if that's, um, okay, what's, it's not a rosary. <laughs> but um, like a beaded belt, is there a name for that? I just need to go look up my monk attire. Monk attire. Monk. Oh, I like the way that rolls off your Monk attire. <laughs> Gotta write that down. Uh, how many of y'all love words? <laughs> Monk attire. <laughs> if you're a wordsmith. Let me see if this site's still up here. Thanks, Suze. I'm trying to find the word for you, but it's not happening yet. <laughs> Desiree is, your, is like your little card catalog in your brain going click, 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 click. It's like a steampunk. See, our brains are on steampunk card catalog time. You know, it's not like the computer, you know, through the information. Ours are like little gears and like little gears moving a card catalog through our brain. Click, 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 click. Make it one word and you add it to the wing nut. I know we need it in the wing nut. Hang on, let me look up this site and see if it's still out. I mean, still there. Cause I haven't looked him up for a while and he passed away. So I don't, I'm just gonna make sure his site is still there. Okay. Yeah, so the, his name is Richard Mitchell, 
and he has the underground grammarian and he passed away in 2002. So I was reading him before that. So, cause I don't think I really kept up with them after his, on his site, after he passed away, but let me go to his site. Just so if y'all want to, y'all want a good word, y'all want a good word person. Yeah, there he is. It's called the underground grammarian. If y'all like words and grammar, then yeah. <clears throat> you like back confidence takes the pressure off color. Yes, Rachel. Remember, you're the boss of your color book. Well, you're actually the boss of any art you do, but especially your, especially your color book. Yeah. Okay. So now I got a little bit of gray on that key. Now I think I'm going to take a black pen. Where's my black pen? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, what am I going to do with it? What do I do with that uh, Pentel? All my pins seem to have disappeared. Oh, there they are. Either a Sharpie or I'm going to use, yeah, this one is a little too thick. Let me get it. Mm -hmm. I want something a little smaller here. That would probably work. Here's a Micron PN. The plastic nib, I think, is what that PN stands for. Anyway, so I'm going to get down here on his key. Oh, did I get one that's run out? All right. Or I used this on something. Okay. That one's not working. Let's try another one. I bought a couple of packs of these. Let's get one. There we go. So I'm going to add the shadow and the detail, a little extra detail. And you want to, you got to kind of clean the pen off because you're picking up a little bit of wax when you use a pen. But it's it's good to get those little tiny shadows and details. You can just get it better with a pen. Same thing for inside of eyeballs, your irises. I mean, your uh, pupil. Yeah, just to get a little dark there. Shadowing. That's what I but is Solera, that is probably what I'm thinking of. But is that only the woman's one or do the men have the chatelaine too? Let me write that down. With like that has the chain with all the keys on it. <clears throat> yeah, I wrote that down. Oh, thank you, Louise, for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you for the five pounds. Thank you. I appreciate that, Louise. Email me, Louise. Email me your address if you'd like a little bit of art. Um, yeah, Chatelaine. Uh, you're going to do portraits for the new old, uh, for the new Gold Rush. Um, I thought about doing, there, there's quite a few new Gold Rush crew, Sharon. Here's a problem with doing the Gold Rush crew portraits. Sometimes it can take me hours to find a picture because they don't just have pictures of themselves. Like it's not like you go on gold rush and there's a picture of Parker and grandfather. And, you know, it's not just like pictures of them all. I have to go, I have to usually find them on screenshots. I have to watch videos, commercials, advertising, and find a screenshot. The same thing when I do my, um, uh, YouTube people, when I do my YouTube portraits of people, I have to take screenshots to find good pictures of them. And that's very time consuming. So I don't know that I'll be doing new Gold Rush crew. Bye, Susie. Oh, oh I'm sorry that you have the flu. Get well, Susie B. Oh, brother, Julie Topaz. You're so cornball. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Joycey, Joycey's, it's one, uh, um, Vicky, 1 p.m. Eastern. I just saw that go by. Yeah, 1, 1 p.m., Vicky. Um, so yeah, probably not Sharon. 
I, I, right now, when I have a free moment, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do portraits of my YouTube, especially new YouTubers. And some of them are not even new, but I just want to do some more YouTube portraits of people I watch. And I have three lined up. So I'll probably do those before I do any new Gold Rush people. I don't feel attached to them, Sharon. I don't feel attached to the new Gold Rush guys and girls. You know, I did those Gold Rush pictures back in 2014, I'd say. Maybe a couple in 2015, three or four years ago. You know, Parker, <clears throat> his grandfather... You know, I, I felt more attached to the, the, the teams. Oh, brother Julie. <laughs> well, yeah, the thing is, Sharon, is that if I do one new crew member, then, you know, I'm not doing another, uh, the other new, because there's like, uh, like Rick's team. You know, I've, I've drawn Rick, I've done Parker. Well, you know, all right, let's do a rabbit trail. And a lot of the Gold Rush crew, I've given them to the families. Let me see if I can just find them. And also, Oak Island's coming back. Oak Island comes back on Tuesday. Hang on, I'm looking at my... Sketch portfolio. Come on, guys. Here we go. So these are the guys from uh, Oak Island. Um. Okay, hang on. The cat wants to get up here. I just have to watch the cords. Um, yeah, that's a little too far out. There we go. So anyway, yeah, these are some of the Oak Island guys. Here's Parker's dog. So these are some of the ones that I've done for, um, these are some of the ones that I've done for Gold Rush. And this is back when... 2000, most of these are 2015. So you can see I've done a lot of them. There's Rick when he has his funny mustache. Um, there's, there's Todd, Dad. Here's Tony and Monica. This is an early Parker and grandfather. And then here's the one that I did of Grandpa. This was his memorial. It's really flashed out. His, yeah, yeah, I don't know why that's flashing out. This was a memorial portrait I did for the grandfather. But anyway, I was really um, attached to them. Dozer's your favorite. And now, like Rick, Rick has his own crew. So Rick has, what, five new people? Rick has five new people working for him. You hadn't seen those, Sharon? Yeah. They're all on my Facebook page, Sharon. I have a Facebook Gold Rush. Um, I have a Gold Rush album, and it's public. Anybody can go look at it. You just go to Dee Dee Willingham, photos, albums. And in the albums, there's a Gold Rush album. Anybody can go look at them. So anyway, what I'm trying to get at is I'm not attached to this new crew. I haven't been with them for all these years, right? Four or five years of gold rush. They're not like, they're not like grandpa, <laughs> you know, they're not like family, like grandpa, right? And I wouldn't feel right about trying to do one of the new crew members and not all, I'd say there's probably eight, eight, maybe nine new crew members. I haven't even done Tony Beats's, Tony Beats' son. 
So I probably will not um, do them. So what I'm saying, Sharon, is don't send me pictures because I probably won't do them. Right now I'm trying to work on doing more YouTube, YouTube fan, you know, people I watch on YouTube. <clears throat> Um, Louise, I still send, uh, I still send little envelopes of art. I don't, I don't mind sending little envelopes of things to the UK, Australia, you know, I, people that are in a society of idea collectors, people that, um, you know, support the channel. I send, I send worldwide. Now I will say this. I do, I no longer do commissions for out of, um, I don't do commissions for other out of country because I have no way to track it. So I do commissions occasionally still, but I'm working on so many of my other projects that I've kind of really cut back on commissions. Um, yeah, I've bonded with them. Exactly, Suze. The, the Oak Island pictures, I'm not sure what about them. What about the Oak Island, Sharon? I only have a couple of the Oak Island guys. The two brothers and um, the one that lost his son. Um, hi, Elena. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I probably won't be doing uh, more... more um, what do you call it? Um, gold rush portraits. Because I just did those as fan art. And the only people that I, I sold any of them to are the family members. The family members of, and I've, and I've sold quite a few of them to the gold rush teams. You know, the, but I don't, uh, I don't sell those to anybody else. Just the family. Parker's never never asked me about his grandpa's picture. I know he's seen it because I follow him and I retweet him all the time, you know, or did do it during the show and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe he didn't doesn't want the picture of grandpa. I would probably actually just give it to Park, <clears throat> but he never asked for it. So yeah. But anyway, so I've been trying to do, and right now I'm just getting in some of the little crevices, like the very dark, dark areas with the pen, just because I had the pen in my hand. <laughs> so it just makes me want to do a little detail with the pen. So you can do that too, you know. Clara's not going to email me and say, you can't use a pen. You can't use a pen. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I've done quite a few um uh, YouTubers, and I've shown those before. You've not seen the YouTubers? Which ones haven't you seen, Sharon? They're in my they're in my Facebook. You're all following me on Facebook. So anyway, a chatelaine, the little chain with the keys, usually a whole bunch of keys, and it's usually the woman of the house or the like the Back in the day, the maid, the main woman that had the keys to all the house that kept the, the keys to all the rooms and the liquor cabinet and the medicine cabinet and all the boxes of whatever. Um, so I don't know that that's the same thing as a monk would have. You know? I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I've lost a lot of my um, medieval monk terminology from reading um, Cadfell back in the 80s. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, that's not, you know, he's okay. This, right down here on the edge, I really need to put a little piece of paper under there, a little, let me get a couple of pieces of, because this needs to come down to the edge, and I can't, like, go right off the edge here. See, I kind of need to do this to get that edge nice and smooth. I 
Hey, Jean, welcome back. Did you have a nap or did you go out for breakfast? Or both? <laughs> okay, so there we go. So we didn't we didn't get too much done on him. Let's put a big I'll put a big blue post-it note here. We didn't get too much done today, but you know, sometimes you just don't. Bo is getting washed and dressed and making brunch. So do y'all have any questions or anything? Anything else before we go? Because we've been here, it's like two hours and 45 minutes. Sometimes we're here for four hours. But, you know, it's after 11. We did our giveaways. Did our uh, Inktober and our giveaway to um, the color book. So, yeah. So, you wanted to look kind of, um, I would say tweedy, but wooly. I wanted to look kind of wooly. You know, y'all know how rough wool looks, right? And itchy. I want it to look itchy. <laughs> Does it look itchy? <laughs> Wait, that's not the dye. <laughs> Does the robe look itchy enough? <laughs> Thanks, Vicki. Uh, how do giveaways work? Um, we have different ways, Eliza, Elisa. Um, if you're here, most of my, most of my giveaways, you have to be here because it's just too hard for me to do giveaways with random people leaving comments. That being said, I am going to do one of those around Thanksgiving. Uh, cause this is, um, November is my eight years of streaming. Now, I've only been putting them up on YouTube for four years. So just saying, you know, people go, you haven't been putting, you haven't been streaming on YouTube for four years. No, I've been streaming with Ustream. I did that for almost eight years until I started and, and uploaded four of those years. The last four years, I've been putting them up on YouTube. Well, YouTube Live, I started doing that the first week of June when you stream. So any videos before June, they're not going to be high quality HD videos because you stream did not give us that for free. So uh, before June, my videos are they're, they're good quality, but they're not HD like they are now. Right. So um, th so this is I'm in my eight year stream anniversary. And. uh <clears throat> put some hatching on it. Yeah, I kind of want it just kind of rough looking. I want it kind of rough looking so that it looks, you know, like wooly, like itchy. And so um, during Thanksgiving, I want to do, I'll do a, a live giveaway here. I'm going to probably give away a couple of Amazon gift cards or something, maybe some other things. But anyway, um, so I will do live giveaways here. And all you have to do for that is just be here. And when we do a random drawing, you put in a number. And then we go to the random.org generator and generate a number. Whoever's closest without going over will win the drawing. Uh, when I do a comment-based giveaway, what I do is I ask everybody to leave a comment under a specific video. Leave a comment. One comment only is what usually my, my request. And then I'll do a random drawing from those people. So that's just, you don't have to be here to be in the comment drawing. So I'm going to probably do one of those during Thanksgiving. So, yeah. No, I stream, Elisa, I stream every Monday and Wednesday and the occasional Friday. 9 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Eastern. I usually come on about 8.30 to do a little chatting. Um, and then, you know, we usually stream for about three and a half to four hours. Today, it's only it's going to run about three hours. We're, you know, going to cut this one a little short today. So I stayed up to like two o'clock in the morning with the election coverage. 
which by the way, speaking of again, I'll say this again. I said it at the beginning of the show. Now that the election is over, we can all just not talk about politics for two more years. We can art, color, chat, and not talk politics for two years, people. Two years. <laughs> But I stayed up late to watch that, so I, I'm a little tired. And the cats are just wanting me to take them outside on the harness. It's tricky to get them on the harness by myself, but yeah. Thanks, Sharon. Yeah. So now that, uh, yeah, we can all, we can color and, and art for two years, right? Won't that be nice? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, uh, that's kind of where, as far as we got today in the new Fairy Miracles by Clara Markova. You can find her books on Etsy. Let me back out because we are flashed out there, people. Flashed out. There we go. And we are on, a, on an angle here so that I could, um, although it did get a little crooked. I have my little board here propped up on a book so that it takes the glare away. Yeah. Um, the catnip of the harness. Um, yeah, it, what it is, Jean, they don't really so much fight the harness. It's that I'm when I'm trying to put it on it, like get their hands in the little chest harness. It's hard for one person. To, they don't fight it too much, um, but it's a little tricky to do it by yourself. But they'll still like, they'll let me take them out and hold them outside. They like just to be outside. You know, they're cats. But I don't let them just go roaming around by themselves. You know, if they got hit by a car, I'd, I'd never forgive myself. You know, they just, they can't go out by themselves. You're welcome, Donna. You're welcome, Miro. Thanks for being here from Poland. You're welcome, guys. So, again, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. If you're new here, try to, you know, come along and have some fun. We call everybody here. that, And we all go to different, you know, Janet streams on um, Monday. Jean streams on Monday. And we call each other Fibs, Friends in the Box. And, you know, so it's not just the Fibs here. We're fibs amongst our, you know, all of us. So if you're here visiting and you go to all our streams or just stop in, if you're a lurker, you're a fib. You are a friend in the box. <laughs> really, Alyssa, Eliza? Yeah. You're welcome. It's good to see you too again, Vicky. Vicky BR, our alligator Vicky. You're welcome, guys. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a great Monday. I mean, a great, <laughs> today's Wednesday. A great hump day is what I meant to say. Have a great hump day. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. Bye-bye.